All right, sugar tits. Well, I'm off to my job interview. Wish me luck. Hey, where's that tie I ironed for you? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit faggy. Listen, cunt. You're wearing that fucking tie. Don't make me pin you down and force you. Again. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll get it on the way out. God. All right, see ya. Okay, honey. Good luck at the interview. <laughs> oh, sucker. That is such a faggy tie. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Uh, we appreciate your taking the time uh, to interview with us for a position with our firm. And I hope it's a good experience for both of us. Let's get started. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay, well, where do I start? My name is Bering, and I'm here to fuck shit up. I'm a vulgar, sarcastic, cartoon brown bear from Australia, which might seem a little bit odd, you know, a brown bear being from Australia, but there is a perfectly understandable story behind it all. I just wouldn't have a fucking clue what it is. Next question. One of the big decisions you've made is which university or college to attend. Oh, look, you're dead right. This was a major decision for me. I'm somebody who doesn't accept anything less than the best. That's why I chose to attend Not Made Up University, where I gained my master's in awesome country. It was a truly rewarding growth... What? Don't look at me with those accusing eyes. Here, I bought a copy of my master's degree. Look. Well, this won't be a big surprise, but I'd like to know about your grades. Yeah, of course. I, uh, I got absolutely flawlessly perfect grades in every class I took. The dean even thought it was some kind of world record. I was planning to bring in a copy of my results, uh, but uh, the, uh, the dog totally ate them. You understand, don't you? I understand that. Oh, great. Just put down perfect grades. I see a team project uh, in one of your accounting courses, and I'd really like to know more about that. Uh, and let's start with, what was your role uh, on the team? Well, naturally, I was the team leader. Mm -hmm. And as team leader, I made a, an executive decision pretty early on that the project was um, boring as shit. So I made a few tweaks. And what was the process you used to uh, get the work done and prepare for the presentation? Uh, how did you guide this group? Well, my group was made up predominantly of punsy social justice warriors, so I decided to guide them all the fuck away from me. I sent them all to their gay safe space so I could concentrate on the project. I see. And as for the project itself, well, that's where those tweaks I was talking about came into play. Rather than the accounting project we were given, I made a seven-minute video bagging the shit out of Lacey Green and put it on YouTube. Okay, ultimately, in the presentation, tell me how it went, and again, what part in the presentation did you play? Yeah, look, I played the uh, bear that bagged the shit out of Lacey Green. I feel it went quite well. In terms of making her look like an absolute fucktard, I think we excelled. Okay, thanks. Let's talk about extracurricular activities. I know that's a, an important part of your uh, educational experience. Sure. Well, look, I'm really into music and movies and going out for pizza. Well, wait, I understand, you know, I know you like music and movies and uh, going out for pizza, but, you know, you're trying to differentiate yourself here. So I, I, I need you to be a little more specific about other activities and your role in those. Oh, right, right. Well, I have a YouTube channel simply called Bearing. Uh, in fact, you should have a look at it. You, you might like it. All right. No, seriously, like, bring it up on your phone now. You'll, you'll piss yourself. Okay. Have you thought about uh, taking the CPA exam and ultimately becoming a CPA and maybe going on for a master's degree? No. In preparation for this interview, I suspect you've given some thought to what are your greatest strengths and, and how would you bring them to bear in our firm. Good one. I'll oh, go on, you deserve it. And 
You're welcome to talk weaknesses, although I'm not pushing for that. Okay, weaknesses, weaknesses. Oh, one thing about me, I fucking love to sleep in. And I'm not talking about getting up at 10 or 11. I'm talking fucking March or April. Also, I don't really work well with others and have a pretty massive problem with authority. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you interviewing with us today? Well, have you ever had one of those nights with the boys that sort of turns into a cocaine fueled hooker party unexpectedly? Yes. Well, what was supposed to be a quiet game of cards with the lads last weekend turned into quite a bit more than that. Sugar tits ended up walking in at 6am just as I was about to snort a massive rail out of some skank's ass crack. As you can imagine, she wasn't real happy with that. In fact, I think she made me wear this gay bow tie as revenge. Anyway, we, we got talking and decided that I need to grow up and get some boring as fuck gay job with a firm like yours. Okay. Why should we hire you? Fuck off, cunt. I'm not doing your job for you. Just tell me how I fucking went in the interview so I can fuck off out of here. Well, I think we've reached the end of our allotted time. I want to thank you very much for coming in to talk with us and, and uh, conduct this interview today. Uh, next steps are pretty straightforward. You know, we're going to go back and review all the resumes and interview information we have. And we'll be back in touch with you in about a week to talk about appropriate next steps. Um, I think that does it. Thanks a lot. Cheers, cunt.